Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. I just put out a video uh, about WSJTX and uh, what was it? Uh, my new uh, MacBook Pro laptop had trouble uh, with MacLogger DX not connecting to my 7610. And uh, you know, I went into uh, MacLogger DX preferences and uh, set up the uh, the station just with my call sign and the registration then I went over the radio and I I put in the port and the radio and then the baud rate uh, left that alone uh, unselected uh, deselected these two and just wanted to see if it'd connect and pull up the frequency and it wasn't doing it wasn't doing it wasn't doing it uh, oh there's the volume is working wasn't connecting, wasn't connecting, wasn't connecting. So, doggone it, I, I thought uh, maybe it was uh, some of the antivirus software I was using. I use a VAST, and it's uh, pretty uh, strong uh, for uh, getting in there and tackling uh, any types of uh, bugs or viruses or uh, anything that's going to get in my computer. It's a VAST, Alpha, Victor, Alpha, Sierra, Tango, a VAST. Uh, pretty good stuff and uh, I thought it was that I thought it was blocking uh, blocking something and well I, I went round and round with it and doggone it it was my radio uh, something uh, changed my radio settings I have a feeling it was that uh, SDR console I've been using with my iPad because sometimes it uh, locks up my radio and doesn't release the changes that it makes uh, specifically one of them is uh, when you go into uh, uh, connectors in this radio and uh, go to mod input uh, if you do that it will still uh, data off mod uh, which is data off modulation it'll have it set to LAN and which is not going to work and uh, the, the everything else is set to LAN uh, which is not going to work so I got a real problem with that software uh, I'll have to get together with the guy and see uh, what's going on. Um, so I, I started looking in the radio and uh, doggone it, I went into uh, CIV and uh, the uh, CIV settings. And the last one on the list there is uh, USB echo back and it was turned off. Uh, so I turned it on and it connected right away. These are the settings just to connect to uh, my ICOM 7610. I haven't done anything, no CW, no push to talk, anything uh, requires that. So uh, this is just getting it running. So there you go. Make sure your radio settings haven't changed. Uh, go in there and take a look at it if you're having trouble. Uh, or don't forget to look at your radio settings if you're having trouble connecting your software. So that's the tip for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this informative and useful. If you have, click that like button. And if you want to, smash that bell down there and you'll be notified when I put out a new video. I'll be doing some tech tips uh, this week and next week before I leave for Alabama. Uh, so thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. 73 and good DX.